Hi guys, I'm Marley. I'm Shelby. I'm Colin. And today we're going to be showing you guys how to understand positive and negative charges by looking at a simulation for charging a balloon. So to start off with, we're going to talk about atoms. Atoms is like the smallest unit of matter you can get. It's essentially like when you look at the periodic table, all of those are atoms on the periodic table. And every atom is made up of three different types of particles. You have protons, neutrons, and electrons. And you can see on our diagram, the protons are the orange ones, and they have a positive charge. And then the electrons are the negative ones, and they have a blue charge. And the neutrons are the light blue, greenish ones. And those do not have a charge. And the protons and the neutrons are on the center of the atom in the nucleus, and they cannot move around. But the electrons are on the outside, and they can move around. And because all these charged particles um, have different charges, they can interact with each other. And as you can see on the screen here, if two charges are different, so if one's a positive and one's a negative, then they will attract each other and come together. But if the two charges are the same, such as two positive or two negative, they'll repel and they'll go away from each other. So now that you understand how positive and negative charges work, we want to explain to you this idea of static electricity. And some of you may have heard of the term static electricity before, but basically what it is, is when you change the charges of different objects by touching them or touching different objects to them, and you transfer them to new surfaces, you exhibit a little force of electricity. So you can maybe observe this when you've worn socks and shuffled across the carpet and then touched a metal doorknob and you feel a little shock. And what you're doing is you're transferring those negative charges, those electrons to the doorknob and that's what causes the electricity to spark. So now we're gonna show you guys a simulation in order to understand this more with a balloon. And I'm gonna include the link for this simulation down below that you, so that you guys can play with it. But we're just gonna walk you through it and how everything works. So while I'm gonna be uh, moving everything around, Shelby's gonna explain to you what's going on. All right, so initially we're just gonna do a very basic version of this experiment. So as you see right now, we have one balloon and we got matched up charges. So I'm going to have Marley move that balloon over to the sweater and rub it all over the fabric. And we can observe that the balloon is actually picking up those mobile negative charges that Colin was talking about. And to give a little more observation into this, we're gonna have Marley move the now negatively charged balloon towards the wall. And we can see that those like charges are now being repelled while the positive charges, since they're opposite, are actually not. And Marley's gonna go ahead and bring the balloon to the wall and then let it go. And we're gonna see what happens. And you see now that the sweater is positively charged, it's attracting those negative charges picked up by the balloon. And this is the basics of this, like, of this experiment. And we can do different other situations in this simulation, such as two balloons, or you can do different settings such as showing no charges, showing charge differences. And it's just a great way to explore charges in an interactive way online. Yeah, so now that you guys have kind of taken a look at the simulation and maybe at home you've played around with it too, we're gonna ask you guys a couple questions about it. So, Shelby? Okay, so first we're gonna talk about what makes the balloon stick to the sweater like we just saw. So we saw that when the balloon was rubbed against the sweater, the electrons were actually transferred to the balloon, which left only positive charges on the fabric. And if it's pulled away, the negative charges are attracted to the positive charges and actually actively move towards it. And then we see, this is gonna talk about what Colin was previously speaking on, of if you have two positive charges, would they stick together? And the answer would be no, they would not stick together because like charges repel each other. And we saw this when the negatively charged balloon was brought towards the wall and the wall's negative charges were all repelled. And what is static electricity? Uh, it is the changing of electric charges on the surface of objects. 
Okay, so now that we've kind of walked you through the simulation, we wanted to give you guys an opportunity to try this at home. And this is a super easy experiment that you guys can do. Um, really, all you need is to take a blown up balloon and you can ask your parents to help you with all this and maybe an old sweater that you can find around the house. And what you can do is that you can rub the balloon on the sweater and you should feel like a little bit of static electricity and friction. And you then can try and pull the balloon away from the sweater. And what you're going to observe is that the balloon's gonna be attracted to the sweater because you've taken all the negative charge from the sweater and brought it into the balloon. And now you're just left with positive charges in your sweater. And you'll observe that the balloon's gonna to wanna to stick to your sweater. So this is a super interesting way to kind of visualize this in your own house while everything that's going on, this might be a little fun experiment for you guys to do. So we hope you guys enjoyed our video and I hope you guys have fun playing with the simulation. Again, we'll put the link down below, but hope everything is great.